I've always enjoyed the sail to get where I was going, but dreaded the anchoring. I never slept well at night, or could I relax when ashore, so I decided to see if there was an Android app that worked better than my handheld GPS. I settled on My Anchor Watch for Android, free at the Play Store. It has some paid advertising, but is not obtrusive. After installing My Anchor Watch, I looked around for a tutorial but couldn't find one, so decided to make this. Now that we have Anchor Watch running, we will set the minimum that you need to have the app functioning. So go to the settings page, enter the maximum drift distance, this is on the upper left, enter a value. Remember that this must be greater than the length of your anchor road. Deciding how large to make your alarm circle is complex. You don't want a lot of false alarms, but neither do you want your boat on the rocks. Take into account how close your anchor set is to the real position, how accurate is the GPS system, how good is your device, how much room you have, and how often you will tolerate a false alarm. We will deal with the other settings later. Now select Save. This will take you to the Details page. Select Set Anchor, then Swing View, where there is a graphic of your anchor set. This is the page that you will probably use the most. The top left of the page shows the GPS status, which should be working. The top right shows the calculated GPS accuracy, which will vary. Bottom left is the drift limit that we set, and the bottom right is the update period which is set in the advanced settings. The black dot in the center is the anchor location, the green dot where the boat is. The green circle shows the plus minus value of the GPS accuracy at that moment, and the thin black line shows past movement of your boat. The details view also shows longitude and latitude of the anchor and of the boat, just a little more detail. So now is a good time to go to the three dot menu, top right, and open the help section. Read this carefully. It is a good investment of your time. Now we need to go into the advanced settings and customize your amp. Since you read the help section, we don't need to go into detail, just the most important items. First, set your GPS update period, maybe 10 seconds, and the position format. Next, enable LPF and filtering weight. These will smooth the GPS track. Last, the magnetic variation and compass damping. Now let's talk about the limitations. First, the GPS system has only so much accuracy, said to be 4.9 meters for 95% of the time. And sometimes there is no GPS signal at all. Also, your device has its own limitations. The result is that the app is only able to show calculated anchor and boat position. My Moto G6 normally shows a position accuracy of plus or minus 60 feet or more, while my Acer tablet, which is two years older, is usually under 15 feet. So guess which one gives me more false alarms? Load the app up on any device that you might use, run for a day and see which one gives you the best results. This is also a good time to experiment with your maximum drift setting. To use the anchor projection, you have to know how far away the anchor is and the heading to it. Just use the compass app to get the magnetic heading. Calculate the distance from the anchor to your device. Enter those two values, save, go to the swing or detail view, and set anchor. It will not take effect if you do not set anchor again. Remember that if you have 100 feet of road out, the anchor will not be 100 feet away from your bow. The last item in settings is the alarm sector. This is useful if you anchor near a rock or shore or something that you must avoid, but is within your maximum drift distance. When setting the alarm sector, remember that it is read clockwise. Again, it is smart to practice at home. And last, if you close the app, it will continue running in the background and give you false alarms. You need to exit first, then close the app. The bottom line is this is a great app but I personally will probably never totally trust my anchor to hold. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please like it and stay off the rocks. You may also find other videos on my channel of interest. I have sailing, flying, music videos, cars, a couple of political rants, and poetry.